Hello everyone. I will teach you today a trick to make it easier to change the number of poles and voltage of the outlets whenever you want to connect to a panel. So here I have a standard panel. It's distribution system 120-208. And here we have outlet that is one pole 120 uh, volts. If I want to make, let's say, two poles 208 voltage um, I have to create a second type so I have to come here change duplicate and create two pole for example and then oh well I have a problem here I have not two poles so I have to change the family for that so I won't be able to do that just like that okay so I can make, I like to use another approach that make uh, the workflow much easier, especially here in Brazil that we have a single pole and two pole uh, outlets. So how we do that? First of all, let's edit the family. So let's get into the family editor. And then we create parameters for each property of the connector. Which are the property of the connectors? Let's select it. So we have here like number of poles, load classification, voltage, apparent load, power factor. These are the most important. Usually when you create an outlet, I won't use unbalanced, but I will use balanced one. Why? Because usually if I have one pole, two poles or three poles, I don't want to specify which uh, pole have uh, how many uh, amount of the the load connect to it I want to split it equally between each leg so here I will collect two load so I need here in this standard family only number of poles and power factor I can speed up things just clicking here and then create a new parameter so let's say Okay, number of poles. And here I will make something different. I will create them by instance. Okay, um, power factor I will create here. One good thing of making things this way is that you don't have to uh, figure out which is the discipline and type of parameter to be used for each one okay so now let's go here in types and i will change this switch voltage to type load classification to type and load to type and we see what will change inside the project oh let's here I will change to organize a little bit better, put everything together into electrical. And this is just uh, make it things uh, more organized. Okay, so I create all the parameters. So now lo let's load back to the project environment. So I will load it here. So now when I select here, I have the properties here and I can change it here if I want. But another thing that's very great, in my opinion, is that when you select an outlet and you want to create a circuit, you have this, um, this window where you can change the number of poles and the voltage that you want to this outlet. So I'm connecting this to here. I'm not judging if this is proper or not proper. I'm just teaching you the trick, okay? So here I want to create another one. This will be one pole and it will be connected to here. If we create the panel schedule, then we have like here, two poles and one pole here. So this is a great way to have only one type of uh, outlet and you can change the load of it. And also you can change the load classification and you can lo change the, uh, the load value, the load amount of each 
one of these. So you, you can say, oh, this is for the refrigerator, this is for the oven, this is for the microwave, and you can put for each one a different uh, amount of for the load without having to create second type of family. That's it, people.